And we have the wires pulled. We have the condors all glued up and solid. We did that last night so it has plenty of time to set up. So I didn't cause any problems when I go pulling on these wires. This is the neutral wire. I'm going to trim that back. Then these wires get trimmed back and they go into the top of the main breaker. Doesn't matter which one. Probably put this one in the left one, that one in the right one. Doesn't matter. The only one I have to be sure of is that the neutral goes to the ground bar. I want to trim back this insulation. And you don't want to nick the conductor. The idea is that you want to strip this down far enough so that when you put it in to the neutral connector, a little bit of the copper shows out the bottom so that you're sure you've got the wire fully engaged. If you don't have a good connection at this point, you can generate a hot spot. So you always want to make sure that this connector is clean and fully engaged. using this kind of uh, hex key folding jobs let me choose which one I want to use and also I can pull the handle off to the side and use it as a lever to help break things loose or to tighten them up. Also lets me do a little bit of fast spinning on the Allen wrench. is extremely stiff. You can see that the wire extends out the bottom of the connector block. So we're all good to go. Holding down on the wire to make sure it doesn't squirt out. I'm going to tighten this up. Now we repeat the process with the two main conductors. Put a mark here so that I have enough cable to reach down into the connector. Now I'm going to, have, I'm going to saw off the end of this wire. Well that wasn't planned.
probably do the same process that we did on the neutral wire. You might wonder why I'm cutting these wires off. Couldn't we have made them exactly the right length? Well, because we were going through the two inch conduit here, and we had to make connection across the box to three different length wires, We wanted to make sure we had a little extra because if you end up short, you can't add anything to this wire. You can't splice it. It has to be a continuous run from the meter box to the panel. So it's easier and cheaper to throw away uh, four to five inches of wire off the end of this thing than it would be to go back and buy another 22 feet of it at $2.50 a foot. So we're throwing away about a dollar's worth, but it's recyclable so you can sell it for the copper content. So I have that much extra, about two bucks worth. You don't want to be silly and go overboard with it, but pulling this back out is a horrific job if you find out that you're a couple inches too short. So I'd rather throw away two dollars and. 50 cents than to redo that pull. You'd think that two inch copper or two inch conduit would have more than enough room to handle three out wire. But three-out wire is so stiff that it doesn't want to flex and go around any corners. We used large sweep elbows. To try and minimize the amount of resistance we got. But even with the large sweep elbows, it was all Ryan and I could do to get that wire stuff through there. How's your end going? Good. You got the trench all the way across. You did? Yep. That was quick. Oh, that shovel works real good. Whew. Done. Nice. Nice.